All new at 6-4, Cameron County veterans have committed suicide this year alone. That's according to a veterans group out of Brownsville. They say the former service members suffered from PTSD and other mental ailments. CBS 4's Nestor Mato has more on what's being done to provide more help. Veterans and other patients say they need more help to fight depression, anxiety, and other disorders. Now, a new hospital out of Harlingen hopes to help them and the local economy. The Warriors United in Arms is a veterans group of Brownsville. They meet monthly to support each other through the struggles of post-traumatic stress and other disorders. I, I think depression and anxiety has a lot to do with it. Tony Garcia says in the last year alone, four veterans have committed suicide in Cameron County. Bringing vets together to discuss their issues is one way they are working to keep their comrades alive. It's much needed. Somebody knows somebody that needs help. Mental health issues don't only plague many veterans. Rodell Garza of the Harlingen Development Corporation says many people in the community suffer in silence, but help is on the way. Meeting the needs for mental health and behavioral health issues that our community sometimes faces. A new hospital, Pons Behavioral Health, by Strategic Behavioral Health, is being built on Hale Avenue and Victoria Lane in Harlingen. Garza says a $13 million facility will have 94 beds to serve those dealing with depression, anxiety, and personal crisis. In Cameron County, we're underserved in terms of mental health uh, inpatient beds. There was a need for them to um, grow in the community. Garza says the new facility will establish the city as a health care destination. It will also strengthen the local economy. There's at least 200 jobs, probably closer to 225 jobs that will be created. The average salaries are about $17 per hour. Garza says the facility will save lives and help reduce costs to both the public sector and the families impacted by mental or behavioral illnesses. A job fair will be announced and they're looking for everything from front desk to doctors. The hospital is set to open in late August. In the studio, Nestor Mato, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.